Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to look at the strongest currency versus the weakest and it's going to be looking at the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. So you can see here you know, the strength and weakness table here and we can see that the Australian dollar moved from that reversal situation and gained plus six and the US dollar lost a few places again in that reversal situation and lost value. So Aussie US dollar shows us that there's some potential for this market to move to the upside, but we just gotta take a few considerations in here. Now on the left hand side, you can see I've got the US dollar index futures uh, seasonal chart. And typically at the low of September, we see the market rally through to the end of November. However, it can sometimes take a dip through October and then continue its move to the upside. So maybe this is what we're seeing here at the moment. I just wanted to reference this because obviously we looked in the market outlook that the dollar was weakening and we looked at this seasonal bias um, a few weeks before and it, when we were looking in September. And we can see here that if this market is going to take a dip and then a breakout that we could be looking for maybe some short term upside for that uh, further um, sort of downside on our majors so um, looking for the potential for Aussie US dollar to maybe form that double top pattern that we spoke about in the outlook uh, and then that dollar strength through sort of the end uh, middle to end of October could be then uh, on the cards for pushing through look just looking at this sort of seasonal chart through here so if I just bring in the Aussie US dollar chart I know we went over this uh, yesterday in the Forex market outlook but what we were looking at um, if you haven't seen that video was basically the fact that the market is technically trending up on a weekly time frame and it came back down into these previous structure highs and when I'm looking at trend I'm always looking at the potential for the previous structure high which was a uh, resistance acting as support as price breaks through and continues that trend and we've got that sort of similar situation here where we were at this point the market was saying to us that the Australian dollar was really weak dollar was really strong um, and then we had that in those reversal zones which is now looking like that weekly is going to continue to the upside and if I go down into the daily time frame we can see that price at the moment is forming that sort of higher high pattern now what's going to be really crucial here is the fact that you know we were making these lower lows just through there lower highs price has then broken and closed above the high but to complete that breakout we want to see that two clear higher highs okay and if we get two clear higher highs or at least two closes above this high it would suggest to me that the uh, Aussie US dollar could continue to the upside in the short term and I say the short term because the previous weekly highs are seen up here around about that 0.7380 to sort of 0.7410 area through there and that's where I'm expecting the market to maybe retesting before that dollar strength comes back through and uh, what we need to just confirm though is that secondary close above these highs if we get those second closes above confirms that there's some potential upside to be had and we can look for short term long opportunities if we get a false breakout however and we do see a bit of a bearish close towards this area um, then it would suggest that maybe that um, we could still be seeing a little bit of swing in between that dollar strength and weakness and that we could maybe uh, ideally sit out of the market until we get some clear direction again with either a sort of a break of this low through there for instance and a break of the key level um, but to me at the moment this is looking like it's more upside to come uh, going into sort of that four hour time frame we can see quite clearly prices uh, trending up on the four hour time frame which I always say is a very key time frame to look at we've got this nice little trend through here did break trend this is where we we're expecting that downside to come through but it just didn't change trend again broke higher formed that higher highs now we're just kind of retesting this structure point so is the market going to bounce from this area break higher form new highs that's what we're kind of looking for and looking for that continuation up so short term i think aussie us dollar strongest against the weakest currency we could see a continued rally up into this key weekly zone and then potentially seeing that dollar seasonal play through there
Thanks for watching this video update, and I'll catch you in the next one.